Oh, I got this one. Oh, there's one right there. Oh my god, I got him. I can't aim. There we go. See, even with trash aim like me, you can still win fights. But today we're looking at why aim is only half the equation when it comes to PvP. The other half is knowing how you can gather info effectively and your decision making. And a big part about how you gather info is audio, which we know is in a terrible state right now. But I've got you guys a fix that you're going to like. And that's today's sponsor, which is SteelSeries Sonar. This program will change everything when it comes to your audio, and it's completely free to download. I've been using this program for the past couple of months and it's drastically changed my experience with not just Tarkov but all the games I play. So when they offered to sponsor this video it was a no brainer. Let's take a look at how I set it up for Tarkov and some of the features that it offers. Firstly click on the link in the bio or the top comment to download the program and once you've got that installed you can open it up, create an account and then that's it you're in. Click on the sonar tab and it'll take you through an easy to follow setup. Once that's completed we'll now be in the mix tab where you can make sure all your devices are correctly selected. Then you can head to the game tab where you'll see a variety of options but let's go through what I use for Tarkov. Click on the configuration tab where you'll see a whole list of games and you can scroll down until you see Tarkov and select that one. Make sure equalizer is also turned on. If you know what you're doing you can mess around with the EQ to get it exactly how you like but I find the pre-made one works just fine. Then I like to turn on spatial audio which greatly improves directional sound and lets me pinpoint exactly where footsteps and shots are coming from with extreme precision. Then we have smart volume which is a big one. This will make quieter sounds like healing and footsteps louder but make louder sounds like gunshots and grenades quieter so you can have your game volume up without worrying about being deafened by gunshots. You also have the chat and media tabs which allow similar customization so you don't need to worry about your game EQ affecting your teammates mic or your music from your Spotify or YouTube. And on top of that you have your own mic tab which allows you to make your mic sound more professional with these various presets. So click the link in the description and download it to get that competitive edge. Let's just back on what I said about decision making. It's common to think that the reason you lose fights is generally bad aim, when in reality it's probably your movement in your decision making. Usually you'll fall in one of the two camps, either you're too aggressive or too passive. Let's take a look at an example where the people I was fighting were too passive and they sort of just let me push them without too much resistance. Oh, I did get him. Nice. I definitely had more than... More than two, for sure. 100%. There's loads of footsteps down there. See if they do anything when I go prone here. This guy had loads in his bag. Oh, he's fighting a player scout. You know what? I'm just going to push while they're fighting that scout. Hopefully they don't hear me. I hope I killed him there with that bullet pen. They've killed that player, Scav. I'm pretty sure the other one's just going to be holding an angle on the door. Pretty much right below me now. Or he's in the window, actually. And the door's still shut. Ok, 
Okay, that one might be dead then. Oh, I saw his arm. Yeah, there's his elbow. He's still alive? Around, but we can fit that. Mm. I'm not going to take the TV rig, I'm already way too heavy as it is. Plus, there's nothing really extra that I can take if I do take that DV rig, so... So, they might have thought that the reason they lost that was because they whiffed when I peeked them, but in reality, it was kind of just the fact that they let me run around them and peek different angles without any resistance. Even as a solo, it's best to move around and make your enemy doubt where you are because it will make them less confident. If they had split up and tried to flank, I would have had a much harder time and probably would have died. So try not to freeze and just hold angles, because by doing so, you just give all the initiative to the dudes you're fighting. Now let's look at an example of the polar opposite. See if we can get any shooter-born shots. Oh wait, he's already gone past me? Oh my god. A guy nearly stuck up on me. But he's giving away my position now, so... My god, ADS sound literally just saved my life there. Oh my god, if I didn't hear that, I literally would have been doinked right there and then. This guy's after a shotgun kills by the looks. Someone's below. Yeah, I was kind of lucky. Yeah, I was not expecting to there. I could have gone very bad. Definitely gonna have some space issues. Holy crap, is that that's an AXMC, isn't it? Oh my god, right, okay. Oh wait, we've got the shotgun. We'll just get rid of that. Wait, was that, was that subsonic in there? Oh, okay, it was. Oh my god, we are so heavy. 76 kilos. And we still got that other guy there to loot. Do 
Jesus. These guys were absolutely juiced. I have no idea what I'm going to take, really. Kind of want that armor, but... It's about five M sixty twos. Okay, right. Oh my god. This is literally as fast as I can go. Well, I can respect the chattiness of that push. Generally speaking, if you're peeking slash pushing someone with a sole idea of hoping that you get some good shots or a lucky headshot, then it's probably a bad idea. Judging from his level, he's clearly a decent player and probably has some solid aim. But the reason he lost that was because he put himself in a coin toss scenario where it was more luck than aim. But that's it for this one. If you want to see more tips on how to play solo, then click the video on your screen here.